Pastor John Swearinger is a student of the Word of God. He ministers uh, right now primarily in Watertown, New York. But Pastor, as you l open the book, there are certain scriptures that, that jump out at you. Mm -hmm. What would your favorite scripture be? Well, look at Romans chapter 12, looking at verse 1 and 2, where Paul is admonishing the church. He's talking to the church, and he says, I beseech thee, I, I ask you, I implore you, I beg you, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. That text right there goes on to say, and that we transform our mind. Don't be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. The Word of God impacts every area of our lives. And that scripture really speaks to that. God is telling us in His Word that He wants us to do something with our bodies. So many of us, we, we don't discipline our bodies. We don't discipline our bodies in the way we eat. We don't discipline our bodies in the things that we do with our bodies. And we definitely, sometimes we overlook the fact that our bodies have been purchased by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. And God says, I want you to present your body to me, a living sacrifice. In other words, go where I tell you to go. Do what I tell you to do. Live how I tell you to live. Be an ambassador of my love to this lost and dying world. When I say lost and dying world, that may mean just your neighbor next door, you know, or, or the student you're sitting next to in college or the kids you're walking down the hall with in high school. If you present your body and say, God, today I want to live for you and let God direct your path. He said, the footstep of a righteous man or woman are ordered by him. So if my body is his, then God, whatever you need me to do, I'm gonna do. But it also says this, be transformed in your thinking. And I think that's where we miss it. We think the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ is just a gospel that applies to the heart. So we want to apply the gospel to our emotions, to our feelings, to our pain, to our, to our ups and downs, you know, of, of life, but the Word of God goes much deeper. The Word of God really talks to our mind, to the way we think, to the very core of why we do what we do. If we allow God's Word to transform our thinking, we will make better decisions. And you know, that word, uh, be transformed, doesn't mean that it's an event. It's a lifestyle, lifestyle isn't it? change. Continually being transformed Absolutely. into His likeness. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and it, it, it's a struggle sometimes. It's a challenge sometimes to change the way we think about a thing, to change the way we think about a matter, to really line up the word that says, let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. Okay, I want to stop you there. How do you do that? Now, you and I have some thoughts about that. I want you to share yours. How do you? Let this mind that's in Christ, how do you get from here to there? The battle that takes place in a person's mind is something that no one can see. People don't see the struggles that I deal with within my own head. But there's a battle in my mind. And that battle is this. My mind wants to go back to what is comfortable thinking about what is comfortable embracing. And sometimes my thoughts are fearful thoughts. Sometimes my thoughts are, are thoughts of doubt. Sometimes my thoughts are thoughts of inadequacy, that I can't do it. But yet, look in God's Word. God's Word tells me I can do all things through Christ. So the Word is the source of transformation. Absolutely. When I start, when I start speaking the Word, when I put the Word in my mouth, that Word leaves my mouth and it circles back into my own ear. And faith cometh by hearing. So when I'm speaking the word and I read God's word and I, I put God's word in my mouth and I say what God says about life, when I say what God says about my situation, when I say what God says about my pain, when I say what God says out of my mouth, then my ears hear it. And now my mind picks it up. And so though my emotions and my mind try to pull back to the negative and to that dark place, that lonely place, the light of God's word is shining through my ears and I hear it in my mind and I begin to speak what I hear what God says, and that's yes. a renewing process. And if we could transform ourselves, there's no need for a savior. That's true. So what we find in scripture is as we put this word in our mind mm -hmm. and it settles in our heart, right. God does the transformation absolutely. through his word, doesn't yes, he? Absolutely, absolutely. 
Well, there's a good admonition to start your week with. Uh, be ye transformed.